Google isn't a search engine anymore, it's an answer engine. And if you're still doing keyword research for the old Google, you're missing out and you will get left behind. I'm gonna show you a tool that actually finds you exactly what people are asking and how to turn these questions into traffic that's going to help you rank in the Google AI overviews, GPT search, and perplexity. In this video, you're gonna learn why traditional keyword research is no longer working that well, and also a step-by-step -step guide of the exact process we're using with this tool to go from idea to high quality research to high quality content. See, when Eduardo joined our community, he followed this exact process and within one month, his travel agency was ranking for a very important keyword for him, which is where is Tulum, and also it showed up in the AI overviews. So he's future proofing his business for the new AI search era, at least for now. This isn't a confusing method. It's just one very clear, detailed and helpful answer to the question that people are actually asking. Why is old keyword research not working? Well, we used to search for the one keyword. For example, let's use the same example that we've been doing, which is traveling to Tulum. And we see that the keyword difficulty is, is 12. Okay, not too bad. And the traffic potential is quite high. One website is getting 9,800 potential monthly search volume. If we look at that site, this is the ultimate guide, which used to work really well for the old school SEO. You would optimize for one keyword, in this instance, traveling to Tulum, and what you would do is place other related keywords in that blog post. You would answer questions or other topics that people might wanna know, but it's all in the one master content. For example, you might answer, when to visit Tulum, what travel, what airlines to travel, what, what can Americans travel there, how many days should I spend in Tulum? And if we look at this blog post, which is this one here, that's kind of exactly what they're doing. So they've got one massive blog post that it touches on where to stay, uh, it touches on the beaches, on, on some ruins, on how where to do yoga, where to do temascal ceremonies, Tulum dining, they're trying to optimize for a bunch of keywords in the one blog post. But if we look at the recent traffic, over the past four months, they've lost over half of the traffic. So this is no longer working, at least not as well as it used to, especially if, you, if your website doesn't have high, such high authority. So this is the old way of doing SEO or keyword research. What is the new way? Well, the new way that we find is working really, really well is this content cluster approach where you still write one blog post that is fairly detailed. In this instance, that's indicated by the blue circle traveling to Tulum. But what we want to do is find all the frequently asked questions about this topic, even related questions, and answer those questions in individual blog posts at detail. For example, I might answer in one blog post, I might answer, is it traveling to Tulum safe? In another blog post, I might answer, can I travel to Tulum with a green card? In another one, I might answer, uh, Cancun to Tulum transfer cost. These are individual blog posts answering these specific questions in detail. And also, I want to be linking these blog posts together, and more importantly, to the main pillar keyword. This allows us to turn you into the topical authority figure within your niche. And we see this working really, really well to get featured in the AI overviews as you saw with Eduardo. So the big thing comes though, how do I find all these frequently asked questions very quickly? Because Ahrefs, Moz and SEMrush don't tend to do this very, very well. Well, here comes today's tool. And funnily enough, today's sponsors. But I use this tool so much, that's why we were happy getting a sponsor from them. It's called Answer Socrates. I'm gonna leave a link for you to go, for you guys to test it out today. Very easy, in the topic, you put in your main keyword. Let's keep on the same topic. Traveling to Tulum. You put in the country that you wanna do some research on, the language, and we're gonna to go to search. You give it a few minutes and it's going to find you every single frequently asked questions that people are asking about this topic really, really handy. And this starts creating the content topic that we want to write about. It's all, it's all clustered by R, can, how, should I, what, you get the idea. Now, just to explain this a little bit, whenever you see tofu, that means top of funnel content. When people are predominantly doing some initial research, you might see some things that say bofu, and that is bottom of funnel content which means that people doing these type of searches are probably ready to purchase, so you definitely want to write those content as well. You might see MoFu every now and then, which is middle of funnel content. One feature that I absolutely love as well is that you can cluster all these keywords. And what it does really quickly is it kind of clusters these questions together in the same proximity or how closely they are related to each other. 
What you can do is download this whole CSV. And if you upload it to Google Sheets, it formats it like this, kind of ready to go and ready for you to start selecting the questions or the blog content that you want to write about. For example, the cluster name is traveling to Tulum Safe. The whole cluster gives you a potential search volume of 150 uh, per 150 a month. And then the average competition index is 12. This is one out of 100. Anything higher than 30 might be a little bit difficult for you to rank for, but it gets the average competition of all these longer tail keywords or really questions. Now, a lot of these you might think are quite similar to each other. For example, is traveling to Tulum safe? Is traveling to Tulum, Mexico safe? How safe is it tra traveling to Tulum, Mexico? They're all similar questions. As long as you're answering these in the one blog post in great detail, then you're set to go. So what do you do from here? How do you start selecting which content to start writing? It's quite easy. You want to ideally pick anything that is green here or the lowest average competition index, but also the content that really makes sense for you to answer. Not all of these might be related to your business or the service that you're providing. So you need to have a little bit of common sense here. What I would do, for example, is see which ones might be really interesting and something that I probably haven't thought of before. Here's one. Solo, traveling solo to Tulum. And here are the questions, traveling solo to Tulum, can you travel to Tulum alone? Those are some incredible questions that I would probably answer. Um, here's another interesting one, traveling to Tulum in June. I would probably answer those questions. So can I travel to Tulum in June? Can I travel to Tulum in April? And you might see here, and I get this message a lot, well, a lot of these have zero search volume or total volume, for example, um, here's one, zero, zero for going to Tulum in October and going to Tulum in March. So should I go for these? You might think absolutely not. I'm going to waste my time, but that is the wrong way to think about this because all of these tools, whether it's Answer Socrates, Answer the Public, Ahrefs, SEM Rush, they're not an absolute source of truth. What I mean here is that they're not all correct. And in fact, it's often the lowest hanging fruit to go for these zero search volume keywords because the truth of the matter is that there is search volume behind them and these keywords are very, very easy for you to rank for. So if you, for example, do detailed guides on traveling to Tulum on October, March, February, January, December, and all these things, you're going to rank really easily as long as the content is actually helpful. You can also use their AI tool in deep seek SEO keyword research where they find you long tail keyword variations. Let's try it out and see what we find with the same question traveling to Tulum. Okay, so we see some more really specific questions. Traveling to Tulum while pregnant, with kids, with a baby, tips, long tail keywords, best time to visit Tulum for good weather. That is a great blog post to write about affordable eco-friendly hotels in Tulum. And you get the idea. This will give you endless keyword ideas that you should go for and you should start writing about. You just need some structure. Make sure that you have a money page or a services page or the main page that you want to eventually make sure people land at. For example, if we take this example, you can write all of the supporting content there, just making sure that somewhere throughout that content, you're internally linking to your ultimate travel guide to Tulum. And that's where you might have your call to action, contact us today, book our hotel today, or whatever the main purpose of the website is. And it's honestly that easy Do not overcomplicate things, but you need to start thinking about keyword research to question research these days. And that's the best way to do it. So what happens? I've got this content. How do I write all this content at scale, but high quality? Well, I've done a video for you that you can watch right here that walks you through a step-by-step -step process on how to write clusters of content at scale that are interlinking and I'm going to help you rank as well. So make sure you go watch that today.